Welcome to the future. Welcome to Guangzhou. The nightlife of Guangzhou here in Beijing Road, Pedestrian Street. Dodge the scooters and cross the road. It is all going down here right now tonight. People are out in full force. Guangzhou is out here to party on a weekday night. We thought we'll bring you guys out here with us and show you what's happening because, as we were saying before, we've made it a thing to go around China at night. Every city, every place that we visit. We want to go and check out the nightlife. Guangzhou is no exception. We're here. Let's see what's happening. This place is looking epic right now. Like we've been here once during the day. Let me tell you, it had no energy as much as it does right now. This is this is looking right. It is buzzing right now. There's like no thank you. Yeah, nope. something uh, <laughs> like Gucci, Fendi, Prada. Something like this. I do not wish to buy. No thank you. Uh, let's see how many times we get approached tonight. But, like I was saying, it's so much busier tonight Absolutely. than it was during the daytime. Even on all the roads, the main roads, the side roads, it's all picking up. Wow. It's just got so much colour now. Like, look yes. everywhere, you've got neon signs. We're here for the buzz. We're here for the energy and the nightlife here in Guangzhou. This is our trademark shiny shiz magnet shop literally on every single pedestrian street here but we love it hopefully later on down the vlog maybe we might take you to one and see what it's like here in Guangzhou why not it's just gotta be done there's like um, little stalls like little set up here for what is that Christmas <laughs> no tro trolley I think it's sweet oh is it like uh, gummy ones or like jelly things, basically a little bit like Haribo, I think. But huh. you've got different pop-up stalls along the middle. I was going to say, this is really cute. There's a lottery, China Sports Lottery there. If you fancy your luck. Not that we can participate there because we're foreigners. Say, it doesn't apply to uh, non-Chinese. <laughs> nope, it does not. If it does, let us know, guys. We'll come back and uh, we'll buy ourselves a scratch card or a luxury ticket. Who knows? You might hit jackpot here in China. Exactly. you got to be in it to win it, right? What is this bear shop? I know it's some sort of like drink shop or whatever, but I've not seen this one before. I haven't either, actually. That's a new, a new brand for us. I've seen the yogurt cow. I've seen... Way, I've seen Chuggy, Chuggy. Crazy. Look at this place. Bakery. Woo! Do you see in the window? They look oh, good. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. my goodness. We've got some pots, some cakes. Oh my gosh, look at this gorgeous sight here. That looks so beautiful. It's like, that is diabetes on a plate in a minute. Maybe it's just been approached by another one. What is this? Oh, bags and shoes, t-shirts and watches. There you go. Uh -huh. Some shopping. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah, I don't need any. Thank you. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Ah. Today we go eat. Today we eat. <laughs> Guangzhou is the epicenter of production. It's the well factory. They produce everything. Toys, clothes shoes, textiles, you name it. It's the main manufacturing hub of China, which is why when you walk down the pedestrian street here in Beijing Lu, you might get approached by people who want to take you back to that shop, sell you something. But so far we've been approached by two. So let's do a little something something, shall we? Yes. Let's see how many people approach us tonight with the little card. What have you seen? I see some clothes okay. and I see a sign saying 39, which means I'm there. Okay. Let's have Let's a look. Try. What is it? Bai Mu. Got some t-shirts and things Some, uh, some t-shirts here. Okay. See anything that you like? A lot of white ones. I love white. French it's always style. just a good style. Okay. This is cute. White goes with everything. Yeah. This is this bear from uh, is it Toy Story. Is it? 
I'll take your word for it. I haven't seen Toy Story, so no idea. I love it. Let's see. I was pretty bad with animated films, so no clue. This Lee is a yeah, Stitch. I like this. Does it fit? It's it like is, oversized, it right? Sign. It looks cute. But for this one, how much? This side. This is 49. 49. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. I actually really love this, you know, and I need a new white shirt. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I have this one. Oh, they have in black and they have in white. What do you prefer? White? white? Yeah, me too. Is there it's, anything else that you want to get? I was going to say, there's loads of clothes in here. Like, these are some nice bits. Oh, that's cute. There we go. I I shouldn't buy too much though. I'll get too carried away. But 39 and 49 yuan for some clothing. This is not bad. We've got trousers, different styles. Alright, when we came out, I had no idea this was going to be a shopping vlog because um, Libby just started buying stuff. So, I, hey, hi, why not? <laughs> there we go. What's this? Here's the money. All you need to have is a smartphone, that's money. So you don't need no paper currency or anything. I mean, that is accepted as well if you want, but if you've got a smartphone, you're pretty much sorted, like Alipay, WeChat. Yes. Can I do that? As easy Can as that. Thank you. Make sure that you go through. Perfect. All good. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, okay. that was easy. Spending okay. money is always easy. Yeah, I never have any issues with that, none at all. That was really easy, you guys. Normally I take a lot longer than that. That was maybe my speediest purchase ever, but it felt like really good quality as well. So for five pounds, I don't think you can go that wrong. I actually think that was really nice and it's a really cool design. Oh, look at this. Okay. Look at the globe. During the day, you can't really tell how amazing it would look at night. Wow. Wow. You've got three screens. One, two, three. All playing the same ads. Okay, oh, one is not cool. enough. What is that? <laughs> UFC? MMA? All right, where is this happening? I would love to go and check out this fight. This place looks amazing. There's a globe there. Why are people standing here? Let's find out. What's the deal? What makes this globe such an attraction? Displaying uh, some environmentally friendly art, I think. Why do you reckon there are so many people standing here? I don't know. What is it? Is it like an advert? I mean, that's what it looks like. Displaying nature. You couldn't even tell this was here in the daytime. It's definitely a much better idea to come here at night because you're going to see so much more. That it's all lit up. Whoa. It's all bright. It's buzzing. There's way more of an atmosphere. Now we've got a... Mammoth. What is one of these? Woolly mammoth. Oh yeah, that's the one. Prehistoric, extinct now. It's like Ice Age. Yes. I like it. Wrong Joy. You are looking proper buzzing. But the one thing that we've absolutely loved about China is the nightlife scene here. I'm not necessarily talking about nightclubs or going out to a bar or a pub or anything of that sort. It's just the hustle and the bustle on the pedestrian streets at night. Every main city that we've been to, sweet, so cool. That place we saw during the day one time and that did not look like anything exceptional. No, it Now didn't. with the lights on, it's a different story altogether. Looks cool. What is it? It's the mall, huh? I think it is some sort of a shopping mall. Looks like a massive arch of sorts. Well, I need a drink as well. Ningji. Oh, do you remember Ningji? Yes, we? we could do. Even though it is at night now, but the thing about Guangzhou is it is a bit hot, it is a bit humid, but... Yeah. All right, what would you like? Can I get this one, please? But the one in the middle? Yes, yes. please. Oh, we tried this out for the first time here in um, Guangzhou and that was so good. Black gem. It was mulberry grape, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, mulberry grape with lemon tea, I think it was. So I think you might even have picked out the same one, you know. I've gone for a different one this time. So it's the first time. The one on the left. I went for that one the first time. Now we're going for this one. I don't know what this is. What is that, guys? Comment below, let us know. I just rely on the photos because the photos look so cool. I think you like the cup, right? You like the fact that it's black. <laughs> I solely rely on photos. That's the way to do it, right? Like if it looks good, you're going to go for it. So I think why not? 19 yuan. And but yeah, we've not seen many leaseways around here and they tend to be our favorite. We haven't seen too many. So I don't know, are we in the it's wrong right. spot? 
No, there They're are nice. a few, yeah, but hey, if you can't really find them on a, a pedestrian seat, then you've got to adapt and just go for something else. They've even got some uh, next man, he's probably a celebrity here in China, advertising for these guys. And this is the main oh, bit. Yes, please. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. It's got like the, the pulpy bits in it as well. It's not the same. No? No, this one's milky. That's true. The last one did not have any milk in it, so. Okay, let's not get sidetracked because we're here for this. That looks so cool. I don't know what that is, but it looks grand. And what on earth is that? Hello, my friend. And some more bags. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at that. Very good. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is number three. Number three. I saw something else. Look at that. Oh, wow. Everything looks so much better when it's all lit up. It just looks a lot more... That's a temple, right? Magical. I think it is, yeah. It's huge as well, like really, really big. Wow. This is beautiful. And the trees in front with the little lanterns hanging down is so cute. I can see some girls through here who look like they're dressed in some kind of traditional clothing. Oh, hampers or something traditional. Yeah, and they're taking their photos. You've got little lanterns hanging. Come, have a look. Wow. This is grand at night. Guys, this is beautiful. Can I just say, the photo game here, in China, it's taken seriously. Like they come out at night <laughs> and they've got that little night light as well. Wow. Right, let's go up. Follow this path here, make sure we don't trip over. Lo and behold, look at this beauty here. Ooh, ooh. Wowee. This is stunning. I wonder if you can go inside. Look, there's a little room there. Oh, wow. It's, um, it is a temple. It is, right? Beautiful. And that wall moves. It seems like it's a, a flag. Oh yeah, like waving in the wind, mm -hmm. right? It's almost like sequiny. Look and that. because of the way the wind is right now, it moves it. So it looks like a, a pattern, like blowing along in the wind. This place is sick. I am loving it. Right, let's have a look at this temple. This is really nice. It's a Buddhist temple, if I'm not wrong. I think this is... British because of the stance of the statue, maybe, but it is gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely loving it. Majestic place this. Woo. Look at what we've made here. This looks like we've come to some road, some path. This looks cool. The entrance floor of the Song Gate. Woo! What's this? This Look is this. the old road that wow. they found from over a thousand years ago. No This way. is 1368. Okay, so that makes it. Oh wow! Eight nine hundred years old. This is number four. No, thank you. They look beautiful, but I don't need. Thank you. <laughs> That's number four tonight. It is number four. Yes. But we were looking at this, you guys, because if you see here, you can see there's different signs. It says, the entrance floor of the Ming Gate. So it's from 1368 to 1644. Wow. And look, it goes the whole way down. Can you imagine it survived even after like seven, 800 years? Whereas roads back in uh, the UK now, you make it and after like seven days, two weeks, maybe that's potholes appearing. Oh, this is even older. This is the entrance floor of the Song Gate. This one here. And this Nine is... 60. Wow, to 12.79. Oh my goodness. Oh my days. 12.79. That's over a thousand years old. Wow, that's insane. Imagine that they've managed to preserve it. That, wow. Oh, so it's like, as you dig deeper, there's different dynasties. So from the newer to the older to the older to the that's oldest. Insane. Wow. I think they found the oldest part, like over three, three meters or maybe a little bit deeper than that, 4.6 something like that, meters deep, which that's pretty cool. I mean, like Taz was saying, potholes in the UK, I straight bet away. A thousand years from now when they dig roads in the UK, all they're going to find are craters yeah. and holes and potholes and nothing else. <laughs> Imagine. Because the state of the roads back in the UK, wow, I don't even want to get into that right now. This one is 1126. 
seven to twelve seventy nine. This is the pedestal of the Southern Song Gate. Wow. So we are walking on history here, you guys. We are a part of the history here in Guangzhou. I this love that they've done cool. this. Yes. Yeah, it's really cool to see. So this used to be what a pedestrian street back in the day as well, like over a thousand years old. I think so. They were just on that little video on the top. They were making a little mock up of like what it would have been like, and they were showing that it probably would have been like a main street with food stalls and market stalls, and there would have been horse and carts going up and down the middle, people walking, all that kind of thing. So I bet there were people a thousand years ago approaching <laughs> people trying to sell them t-shirts and shoes and toys and everything. You never know. <laughs> Don't knock it. Oh, welcome to Guangzhou. All right, what's happening here? Some more clothes just over there for 29 yuan. That's crazy. And wow. oh, some funky little alleyway. That looks kind of cool. Do not give me anything that's shiny or a bit different from the usual and that will get my attention. Look at this. Hello. <laughs> oh, it feels like I've just entered a, a massive freezer <laughs> with all this condensation coming down. They love this effect everywhere. It's this usually kind of, coming out of a dragon. Yeah, the There's steamy no dragon effect. Here. No. Oh, where have we just walked here now? This uh, has a big projector screen on the wall. Nice little photo spot this. So colourful and bright as well and Guangzhou is known as the city of flowers so there you go. Oh is that a goose? That's something something. I mean a duck is usually around a full duck I think is about 298 yeah. but this one's 368 so maybe yeah you're right it's a goose because it's a bigger Probably bird. might be a goose all right. Could be. But I haven't tried goose yet. Roast goose I haven't tried so that would be interesting. Also a pigeon in the region is popular. Mm. So that would be cool as well. What is it, roast pigeon? We'll find out. Okay. That's the projectors. Here's the wall, beautiful. Looking gorgeous, all right. We will definitely not be going there. No way. There's shops galore down here, though. If you like shopping or you have some clothes you wanna buy, some shoes you wanna buy, Guangzhou is your place to be, especially the pedestrian street, while they'll be a bit more expensive on this road though, because obviously it's touristy, right? Then if you go to more local part, but you're gonna find it here anyway. But I could do with some uh, Cantonese food right now because Guangzhou is also the heart of the culinary capital, yep. you can call it, of China. The heart of Cantonese food. This is where all of the Cantonese food originated and then spread over to the rest of the world. So Guangzhou has an iconic status when it comes to too many things. Yep. Not just manufacturing, it's also the food. That looks impressive. That's so cool. China loves their 3D screens as well. <laughs> They're absolutely everywhere. We've got a big Huawei underneath it and an even bigger KFC as well, which they also tend to love. <laughs> yeah, I think China has the most KFCs in the world. It does indeed. <laughs> Guys, Beijing Road has undergone more than 2,200 years of history, but its purpose as the business center has not gone unchanged. That is insane. Imagine how many stories this place could tell. We still want to go and explore Guangzhou at night. First and foremost, let's go get some food. Shall we? Yes, let's do it. Let's go. Food hunt continues. We've got skewers along here, which looks like squid, takoyaki. Yeah. Oh. They're having a little party there as well. Yeah. Sounded fun. I want to join. <laughs> We're looking for something to eat, something good, something yummy. I want Cantonese food. Okay. Is that Cantonese? No, I think that was duck. That looks Thai. It does, it's right? Yes, that's Thai. We've got some duck or probably goose. What is this? I think that is... That's a goose. That's goose. way too big to be a duck. Yeah. Goose for sure, yeah. Goose it is. There you go, hey? Wow. We have so much choice. There's places on both sides of the road. It's going to be a tough one to choose. So we've got Vietnamese options up there. We've got Thai restaurants. That one is Thai as well. We've been seeing too many Thai places here. Yeah, we have actually. I think that uh, recently as well, the Chinese and the Thai governments have made it much easier for 
Thais to travel to China and the Chinese to travel to Thailand. So maybe that's why they're up in the ante. There's more people here. They want to appease the Thai people more like, yes, that is correct. I think we're going to go here. Does they have any uh, table for two? Let's find out. Here they are. Two people. Upstairs. They're busy here. They uh, specialise in uh, prawns, I guess. I think so. Upstairs? Lead the way. I think they uh, specialise in uh, prawns, maybe. They look buzzing down there, which is always a good sign. Because if there's raid, you know it is a good place. My because Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jesus, what? That is low clearance. <laughs> Thank you for that. Because I did not see it. <laughs> it smells really nice in here. Okay, so we have the menu on the side here like usual so when you come into a restaurant you can easily find their menu they don't have many paper menus or like hard copy because it's all online it's all digital so we will scan this one and then we will be able to order for sure yeah but the menu is going to be in chinese, chinese. yay how's this putting it through we're going to do the wee shin pay let's see yay done finished happy days that's done so we can finally eat because we are hungry um i think this food is cantonese because a lot of it was steamed but what is this oh it's uh warm some tea i think uh should we sample it yeah why not i love these here we are um yan bei it's got um cucumber in there Sure, it's not lemon instead of cucumber. Ganbei. Cheers. This is good. Okay, time for some food because man's hungry now. I've got to eat. Let's go. A few moments later. We have our Panda Internet Celebrity Beer. Look at that. There you go. I mean, I did not have anything like this in Chengdu, but we're having it no. here in Guangzhou. This is Jack Panda Refined Wheat White Beer. So it's a uh, house brew then I'd say, nice, an IPA. I've never seen the percentage on um, Chinese beers ever. Uh, I think 10.2. No. There's a 10.2 and then a P. What does that mean? Here. Bottom left. Manufacturing date? But if it's 10.2%, wow, that's strong for a beer. Can they try? Yanbei. It's so nice. Ooh. That is really good. What what it's, flavor would you say that is? It's fruity. Yeah, it is. It's quite light as well. Like it doesn't taste really yeasty. I really hate it when it's that flavour. The like it just smells and tastes like Tim. something you don't want to know. Yeah, it doesn't taste good. But that's really good. That's nice. I, like this. Jack I think I might go for another one. Do you think? Since no, 2020, it's quite new. Okay, have you guys tried this beer? This looks really, really good. Jack Panda Original. There you and go. When we translated it, it came up as Internet Celebrity Beer. That's kind of cool, I like that. But there we go. So, beer's ordered. Let's wait for our food. 20 minutes later. This might be the most non Cantonese looking dinner. Because this looks very British to us. Uh, that's jacket potatoes with some cheese. Home comfort. Happy days. Why not? Don't judge us. Look, you know, we just wanted to have a little bit of comfort food tonight. Look at this. This was on the menu here. We didn't customise it or there anything. So this is Cantonese food as well. I think uh, the British actually stole the idea from uh, the Cantonese. See, you never know. Got some shrimp rice. Uh, I've got some cucumbers, I was saying this earlier, this is becoming our favourite because these are so good. So yummy, they're like, uh, they've got pepper on them, like chilli pepper and some garlic. Oh, they're so good, they're really delicious. Delish, do you want to try one? Uh, Ready? Yeah, absolutely. This is skills, by the way. That's off to you, for Thank not you. dropping it. Thank you. Cheers, cheers. We ordered one more beer because it's so good, really nice. So there we go. Cheers. And a beer. Gambe. Keep on coming. I might probably have another one before we leave. Mm -hmm. This is really good, very smooth and but really fruity. All right, dig in. Hopefully chicken's on the way as well. It's not going to be too long. Maybe he's bringing it out. 
something coming up. Hopefully that's for us. All right, see you guys in a minute. Time to dig in. Let's go. Welcome to Shang Shia Ju Pedestrian Street. Now, sorry if I've just butchered that. However, we are here at the second pedestrian street here in Guangzhou. Look at this square. Woo! This it's a big one. Huge. Okay, so we magically teleported from one pedestrian walking street to the other because <laughs> we finished dinner and maybe really? we need to walk it off a little bit. So we went to Hai Ju Square. I think we walked there from uh, Beijing Lu, went there to the little park that was there. It was beautiful because um, we went on that bridge and you could see the beautiful skyline of yeah. Guangzhou. It was so amazing. So we thought this place has two walking streets. Why don't we go check the other one out as well? And we're here. It's, it's definitely like not as big as the other one. Yeah, this is more based around food, I think. Look at that. There's a lot of choice there. That looks nice. Too much food on offer. I don't know, what is this? Pineapple? I don't know, but it looks like we've got some chicken feet there. Is that chicken feet? Oh, definitely. Chicken feet. I think that's a deep one. Maybe not, but it's definitely going to be better than the one that we had at KFC. That's yes, for sure. for sure. No fried chicken feet for us, thank you. But let's head further down and see what else there is here. We've got more food here. All right, so this is definitely more food based. I think we've just come to the food side. I actually think that on the other side, there is just through there, there's another street that goes down. Should we go check that bit yeah, out? Yeah, why not? Because I don't think there's much happening down here. So let's go cut through, get on the other side, see what's happening. All right, you've got a lot got of clothes. clothes here as well. And shoes. <laughs> well, and uh, sandals and shoes and things, if that's your jam. Why not? Yeah. Okay, these are all like for kids. You would fit in this, no? Yeah. This is your style. I like that. Little princess dress. I love it. You'd look beautiful. Princess on a Sunday. Today's a weekday, not today. Oh. Okay, wait one second. I would love a drink. Do you have um, one? So it seems like, guys, this is one of the main streets here, just next to this sugarcane stall. But I think they're doing, obviously, quite a lot of construction in the middle. Yeah, yeah they've uh, closed this place off, so I love sugarcane juices. Oh, that is so nifty. You've got a little tap. So he collects all the juice from the press, fill up a bottle, drops a good one. I like it. I love it. How much is this? No idea. 15 or 18? Do you want a couch again? Uh, how much? 18. No. Okay. There we go. 18? Yes. And yes, you're right. Go ahead. Hi, you're good. Oh, Auntie's got a mug shot on there as well. That's so cool. I love it. I'm going to put this to the test. Yeah, how good this is because we love food changes. It's so good. Let's see. Let's put this. Uh, hello. <laughs> Some good clothes there, there you go. But let's put the sugar cane to the test. Are we gonna stop and try it? Oh, look at this, we've got some jade here in the window. Guangzhou is looking, popular for its jade. There you go, looking lovely. Some jewelry, jewelry galore actually. There is many, many, many a jewelry shop everywhere in China so far. It's definitely super popular. Oh, look at all the gold here. It's pig, pig, pig. Why would you want to wear that around your neck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little, yeah, I'm a little confused about that, guys. Why is it a pig necklace? There has to be a meaning behind it, huh? Well, it's really as a pig. As, I don't know. Maybe, Maybe that's the only thing that I can think of. Probably, yeah. I mean, you guys can let us know. Like, in the West, it's as greedy as a pig. So, what's the significance down here? Like, but these look sick, though. Like, imagine if you're wearing these. Like, yeah. you're all blinged out. Like, you're a king or a queen. 
some big bangles, some necklaces. Impressive, very impressive. Some huge earrings there, ring. How's your sugar cane? Really good. Yeah? I'm loving it, so good. Okay, here we go. Like I said, we've got some shoes Hello. over in this Fresh side. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Here we go. He's going in to try them. I just walked past because I knew that if I go in, I'll end up liking some of you guys. And uh, these are fancy. I'm well, curious like to know how much ones. they are. These are sick. What yeah, are they? This is a China fashion brand. Fashion brand. Fashion China. brand. Ah. From the, from the uh, Jiangsu. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like he, he had, uh, That's Goku, huh? The star shoe. Oh, uh, this is uh, called star shoe. And this is the limited edition. It's the hamburger, hamburger color. <laughs> oh, very cute, very cute. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I try to this. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Say, say it's very special. Oh. But, but in the food, wow, very, very special. Oh yeah. This like color. McDonald's. I think you okay. Look at it. It's got your you. It's forty two. Uh, forty six. Forty, forty six. Oh, almost. I've got almost. big feet. Yeah, very big. Maybe yeah. addition. Uh, maybe DIY. What's, what's the size of this one? <laughs> this DIY. The larger is 44 now. Okay, oh, no. 46. 46 uh, in the Canton, uh, maybe have uh, DIY. Okay. Yeah, in, the, in the Likey Eddie DIY. Yeah. What is the best area in Guangzhou for shoes? For for the for mm. big size, Timor, 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 uh, Timor. Line one, line Beijing Lu. Oh, Timor, uh, no, 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 uh, Timor. Timor is uh, line one set uh, together, but okay. Timor is ten her square. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll check okay. it out. I'll check it out. But I'll just look at your shop. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Look Shushin. at this one here. Oh, fancy! Look at that. I like it. Wow. Wow. American, England, England. Yes. England. Wow, yes. I like England. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, <laughs> two thousand two. Yeah, to you see right? the Chelsea. Oh. Uh, Chelsea, the the perfect. Manchester United. You send the Harry McRae to 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 you, us. You can take it. No <laughs> problem. It, he's yours. Oh, uh, and Tommy. Yeah. Take him as well. I'm joking. I'm joking. I like your I like your mount. Mason yeah. mount. Oh yeah, Mason mount. Maybe Chelsea. Our yeah, yeah. uh, can use you. You don't can use. <laughs> Mason mount's a good player. Yeah. Hey, Manchester, Chelsea guy. Yeah, Manchester we go soon. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he's going go. to Saudi now. Even yeah. I know that one. There we go. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, we can't get any trainers down here because the maximum size they have for shoes is 44, um, 46, 47. So, um, got got their big feet. Yeah, got <laughs> super big feet. But this is a sick top. Yeah, it's some nice bits. Balenciaga. <laughs> but Balenciaga. Yeah, well, no if you really copy. look at it closely, is when you realize it's the wrong spelling, but it's really nice though, I like it. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was so sweet, guys. Honestly, everybody is so friendly, and obviously, Guangzhou is a big producer of many, many clothes, many, many shoes, bags. I'm a little gutted this is all closed in the middle. It kind of like feels like you can't get the full vibes of this place, but maybe they're building something cool and better to come. So you guys can let us know, but shops on shops on shops on shops. You know, I think it's not closed the entire way. It opens up now. Ah, okay. Look at this. Here we go. Your wish has been granted, madam. There we go. Look at there that, you are. guys. Da, 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 da. Very Some shoes on wholesale down here. There's like shoes and shoes oh, here. Oh yeah, just in the corner here. This looks like a lot. Chow oh. we do. You wanna have a look? Yes. Let's do it. Why not? Let's go chat. What's see if Taz can see anything he likes here. Let's have a look. How much for these shoes? 89. 89? Uh, yeah. Everything? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. These are These are how much? 89. 89. That's not bad. Alright, I mean, not exactly my colour, but the, the stuff's alright. There's loads of different ones. Look, there's that blue. They feel like more kind of sporty kind of oh, traders. You guys, we were just walking down the street and I see, I was a little behind, I see Taz is looking over here at some kind of menu. I can see him. This guy is always hungry. What are you doing? I was just translating that. I think that's um, a goose and not a duck. Oh. And we haven't tried goose yet, so um, do you want to try it? Have you seen what's face? Of me, if I say I would like to try some goose. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it looks really nice. Should we just go and have a look? Should we try? It? Okay, yeah. if you want to. I mean, I've walked quite a bit, so I think it's only fitting if we try out some uh, goose as well. Why not? <laughs> you know, that's the good thing about food here in China. It fills you up, but then once you walk 
maybe about like 10, 20 minutes, like two, three kilometers, it wears off and then you get hungry again. So you can keep eating, eating, eating all the time. That's the one danger of being in China. You're not going to get robbed. You're going to go and get fat. You're just going to put on. Food. Is it yeah. This one? Uh, yeah, yes. look, there's the, there's the menu here. Are they even open? Yeah, here, no? Or yeah. here? Okay. Are they the same restaurant? Oh look, we've got a few other restaurants up here as well. It's kind of like a little mall. Yeah, but okay. Let's okay. go find a table. Oh, we have some seafood over this side. Okay. This way? It's a very um, grand thing. Yeah, there is people smoking as well. You walk in and you can just smell smoke. But that's the thing about China actually. In some hotels you can still smoke and in some restaurants you can smoke. Here? Okay. This is perfect. I'm not quite sure why there's six chairs here when only you can, you can two tables. Juice and <laughs> there were some fish as well in those tanks as we just came in. So probably you can get some seafood here too. There we go. This is where we are. What's it called? This one, Guang Fu Ming Rui Lui Jui Jia. There we go. That one. I'm gonna try some uh, goose, guys. Gonna bring some goose out, please. <laughs> okay, we finally got our hands on the menu. So I want to try this bad boy out. So it's a goose, right? Um, I think one serving is 28. I don't really want to try anything else because I'm not that hungry, I'll be honest, because that would just be plain greedy. So I would uh, definitely have this. Um, can I just get one? Duck, this one? Okay, and it's goose or duck? Goose. Goose, yeah, so can we have one? Uh, what's this? I don't know how to say it. In uh, English, no? Spring rolls? Rolls? Can I also ask you, how do you eat a goose? Is it like duck? Like a pancake? Uh, would you would you eat that like as a pancake? Or do you yeah, just... Yeah. Just, 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 just like that? Ah, okay. You don't wrap it up like a duck? No. In a, in a roll? <laughs> so That's fine. That's, That's okay. Fine. No problem. problem. Let's try it. You bring it out. We'll have it. It's our first time trying oh, goose. <laughs> okay. Never tried goose in our life, so um, we thought we just asked someone how it's done. It does it come in a pancake? Do you wrap it up? Does it come with like sides, shallots, cucumber, plum sauce, a little bit like that? I don't know. Goose, duck, oh, same thing oh. for me. All right. So we're gonna find out what this is first, huh? Yes. What is this? Tofu? Maybe? Something? Something? And something? Do you know what? They all look. Like, Delicioso, it's so good. It is pumpkin and egg yolk. Okay. And oh. it's like a, a roll, right? Fried? Fried. Fried. Yes, okay. We'll have one. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, have why one not? Let's okay. take one, yeah. Do you have uh, any beers? Uh, we can we can choose? We can look. Okay. There we go. Go I'll ahead, go choose my love. Okay you guys, we're gonna just go and check out what the beers are because I think we would have some difficulty to translate, but this is the fridge right here. Maybe I can open this one and look. Okay, we have ooh, Blue Girl. Blue Girl. Something here. Budweiser. Harbin Ice. Oh, that's a big one, but I think we might try this one. You know, we haven't had this. There's Budweiser as well. And then this one. I don't know what this is. Here we go. 1997. Draft Beer. Mm. No, okay, we have this one. Harbin. Harbin ice. I can take this one? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Sure, sure. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, sure, sure. <laughs> so he's going to bring it over for me. I haven't seen Harbin ice one before, so we're heading through trying all of the different beers here in China. So there we go. I picked a new one for us. I haven't seen this before. Look, I picked us a new one. Harbin ice. I was going to say we could definitely do with this. We haven't been to Harbin, but we can have Harbin here in Guangzhou. How amazing Yay. is that? It looked fancy as well. It's like the, the, the bottle caught my attention. We definitely need this here in the heat of Guangzhou. Some, uh, some cold weather from Harbin. All right, how am I supposed to uh, drink this? No, he's bringing cups. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank Just you share. so much. Yeah. Like, there we uh, go. That feels a bit sacrilegious <laughs> if I have it in this. But needs must, eh? Mm, but there's Budweiser. I've seen Budweiser a few times here now in Guangzhou in the south. Budweiser, um, the worst beer yeah, in the world. Uh, 
honestly, we don't like it. But I guess, you know, when you have it like at home, uh, you always think they're like, well, yeah, you know, you never try what's at home. You always try what's not there. Yes. So for us, Budweiser, we can have any time, but we're going okay. through the selection of Chinese beers so far. The one that we had earlier with dinner, that panda one. Oh yeah, that was that good. That was really good. Okay. Here's the more double dinners going forward. Cheers I'll to Guan Zhao. Yan Bai. Oh, very bubbly. I like it. Down with half of mine already. All right, let's wait for some goose. Also, <laughs> forgot to tell you. Oh, we got some. Thank you. This is not pumpkin and egg. Oh. This is fish. Oh. So I said, okay, let's have it. Okay. Pumpkin and egg was this one. Ah, oh, okay. So he confirmed with the lovely girl back there and she said, this is fish. Pumpkin and egg is this uh -huh, one. Okay. So I said, you know what? I'll stick with fish. Okay. Let's wait for the goose because I'm hungry again. Let's go. A few moments later. Ni hao. Hello. Hello. Right, that is looking Ooh. glazy. Sure, sure. Oh, look at that. Got some peanuts on the side as well. That's freaking dynamic. <laughs> there we go. Sure, What's sure. that? Plum sauce? I don't know. Some kind of sauce. That looks good. I like it. But the main thing is, in uh, happier news, this beauty is only one pound. Ten yuan. China is amazing value for money. I love this country. So I just ordered goose on its own. I'm just going to commando it right now, so... Um, try it, try it. Well, it's definitely not as tender as a duck. Crispy or not? Mmm, very crispy. I think got bones, that's what I'm trying to establish first. I think some of them do, but some of them don't. Like this whole bit looks as though some does and mm. some doesn't, but mm -hmm. it looks juicy and crispy and golden and yum. This one didn't, so that's good. Yeah, good. Mm, mm. How does it taste? Sure. Is it a bit fatter than duck? Mm -hmm. Okay, fattier. Sorry. But with every bite, you can tell it's got so much juice. Mm. That's good. Yum. And it's got a little bit of crunch to it as well, so that's new. Definitely not born, but the meat's tougher, but I like it. Uh, do we get goose back in the UK? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do, but it's not as common, huh? No, it's yeah. not popular at all. I don't think it's as common. It's more turkeys, chickens, probably duck, lamb, Pigeon beef. partridge. Yeah, that's more the thing in the West. So, but here in the south of China, the goose is it's the most popular. popular. So, so, there we go. Take off the bucket list, bring Wong Chai, Wong Dong, south of China, climb the rose goose. Happy days. Mm -mm. Okay, should we tuck him? We're still waiting for the fish. Two dinners tonight. Why not? Let's do this. Look what's just arrived. I don't think I'll be able to eat all of this, though, I'll be honest, because uh, that goose done me real good. This is a... Uh, fish. Yeah, I said it's fish, so let's try it. Yeah, we think it's like some kind of... looks like it's in a batter. Oh. Show me. Oh, there we go. Right, fish fingers. Oh, okay. Oh, this is, is right up your alley. How many are there? This is like <laughs> different 500 <laughs> pieces. Just... What is it? Like, a little party going on. I was just gonna say, you know, when they bought it over, I was thinking, sorry, are you guys coming to join us? Because that's quite a lot. But for 48 yuan, that's like, what, five, uh, no, just under five pounds, about four pound mm. fifty, something like that. And we've got how many? Probably 20 plus uh, little one, fish finger things. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah. And you oh, ate one. one. Yeah, yeah 20. twenty. No. <laughs> That's twenty pieces of fish. Wow, we. Right, get cracking. Get another bottle of beer, and uh, let's get the show on the road. at this crazy place where we are. Ta-da! Look at that! How amazing <laughs> is that view? Canton Tower all lit up. This here is the site of the Asian Games opening ceremony. This is so cool. That's the stadium up there. Wow! That is looking epic! And behind us, 
is the beautiful skyline of Guangzhou. This place is buzzing right now, like the well and his wife's out here. Last night, guys, we couldn't continue it anymore because no. we were so full. Plus it got a bit late as well, and it also started raining a little bit, which is why we thought, you know what, we've eaten twice. We're just going to go back. <laughs> and we decided to come out tonight, which is what we're exactly doing. And we're happy that we did because it is busy. It is absolutely buzzing here. It feels like the entirety of China have come out. But we're going to go and check this place out here. We're at the Hai Xinxia Asian it is? Games. Yeah, that's the name of the park. Hai Xinxia, I think. We're going to go ahead over and check it out. The lights look so freaking cool. Guangzhou has come to life. Wow. Can I just say this? People in Guangzhou know how to party. <laughs> They've all come out in full force. And I don't know, maybe if there is an event or something going on tonight, but is this how busy this place normally is? Because there's too many people, the town out's really, really good, and we're here for it. Woo! Canton Tower at night, all lit up, looks so beautiful. And these lights here, it looks like a scene from a sci-fi movie or something. And it's just the shape. It looks like little space capsules. <laughs> I think it reminds me of a fish tank. It Does looks it? like, yeah, like, all little, I don't know. I don't know, I look at it and I think it's a, a space pod. It could be, to be fair. <laughs> How cool does the Canton Tower look though? It's all changing colours, it's multicoloured. It's got a little message going around at the top as well. I'm not quite sure what it says, but... You guys can let us know. What does that say? Maybe it says, I love Guangzhou. Welcome, Sunkiss Bucket List to Guangzhou, China. <laughs> but there's people inside as well. There we go. But is that something that you need to buy a ticket for? I think because I see people queuing up here. So I think we probably need to buy a ticket, maybe. And this area is barricaded as well, so. Oh. What's happening here then? Okay, is that a ticket? Do we have to buy a ticket? It's for something, but I'm not too sure. I actually think it might be to go on the boat. Oh. Because it's at 10 past 9 until 10, and I think it does like a performance on the boat. Um, so you take the, you go on the Pearl River. There's actually a brightly coloured boat passing right now. Can you oh, see that in the yeah, distance? There we go. That looks sick. All right. It might be for that then, yeah. Pearl River night cruise. Yes. I think so. It's something like that. But we can actually go further and go down this way. Yeah, I want to so, know how we get here. We go this way. Barriers. Yeah? All right. I'll follow your lead. Come on in. Okay. It is busy. Guangzhou. Again, this is a, a weekday evening. This isn't even Friday or Saturday. It's just a usual working day of the week. Okay, this is how we get in. Looks gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. So freaking busy, but everybody is out enjoying Guangzhou just like us at night. Perfectly safe. No issues whatsoever. Come enjoy yourselves. There's guards over on the side. And here we are. This is the popular I love Guangzhou sign with the little uh, crescent moon, if you want to call it that, or horns or whatever. And you've got the Canton Tower behind that. That would be an epic photo if you manage to get in somehow and get one. Because uh, half of Guangzhou is here trying to get that shot. Right, let's see if we can. Let's take advantage of uh, me being tall. Uh, here, 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 here. Uh, there we go. Boom, how about that? Beautiful. We've done it. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> Enjoy! <laughs> friendly, friendly people out here in Guangzhou enjoying the night, just like we are. This is our second night out. Wow. This is our second night out to complete one vlog because one night is not enough. You need to come out and experience everything. This city is quite spread out, so we thought, why not? Yesterday we spent far too much time eating, today we do more sightseeing. <laughs> True that. I can't get enough of the views here. So amazing. Welcome to the future. The tallest tower in China. Canton Tower in Guangzhou. 600 meters. Wowie. 
I really love that you can just come and walk through this venue. So used to be where the Asian Games were hosted here in China. And you can walk through, no tickets, no entry fee. This is nice. That's the beauty about being in China. It's for the people. And it's so easy. Everything here is to facilitate its people. And I love it. Usually in the West, this sort of venue, you would have to buy a ticket to go inside. Sure. Like even back in London, Stratford uh, Olympic Village, if you want to go inside, you have to buy a ticket. So. For sure. I mean, just to give you an idea there, that is the Olympic flag up there. And this is where the games were hosted. All of the sitting areas there. Libby's is here. Yes, gold oh, medal. This is what I was talking about. This is welcome to the future. Guangzhou, China. Wow. How cool has Guangzhou been at night? It has been absolutely insane. I mean, Canton Tower and the skyline behind you, I think, speaks absolutely for itself. It has been phenomenal here. We've loved every minute. Guangzhou at night is even better than by day. So if you guys have made it this far, then thank you so much. Guangzhou, thank you. You are alive as a city. We absolutely loved it, but we are gonna finish the vlog here. If you have enjoyed it, then don't forget, go over, check out our second channel, you guys. Go hit it up, it's Taz and Libby. We show all the unseen bits, all the bits that don't make it here onto our main channel. You're gonna love it just as much as we do, but you guys know the drill by now. Like, subscribe, share with all your friends and your family, and we'll see you at some point somewhere in China in the next one. Guangzhou, you have been absolutely amazing. We've had the best time here. Until next time, Guangzhou, we love you. See you guys in the next one. Let's go.